adventure. Even those among you 
who have had some contact with it in the past will find this epoch-making voyage an experience beyond their wildest dreams. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, maybe a, 
<laughs> With who? The man on the moon? That uh, fort commander on Jupiter who couldn't take his eyes off you? Or uh, maybe it's someone on the ship, huh? Well, you're the reporter, Hardy. Uh, why don't you find out? I think that's just what I want to do. Whitey. Whitey. What is it, Jimmy? Well, did you sign this paper for me, Whitey? It's very important. Oh, it is. What does it say? It says that you, with your own eyes, saw me high jump 18 feet. On Mars, Jimmy. Well, you don't have to put that in. <laughs> I guess not.
Don't you understand, Reverend? There's nobody to get to. The ship, the people. They're out there floating in space like this one. This, this little room, this glass compartment, suspended in the vacuum, is all that's left of the Golden Star. Where are you going, Captain? I want to check the airlock here. There may be a leak. Oh.
to it, Dick. Don't follow the cable as you go over. Dick, Dick, don't go. Don't leave us. Uh, demand the carriage. Just pray for his safety. Stand by, help me out, huh? Yeah. Thermal 
reservoir is about exhausted. I put on his jacket. From here on in, the thermometer keeps going one way. Down. What? What happens after after everything's gone? Well, we are spared one thing. Decomposition. The cold gets us before the maggots do. It is a quick freeze. You will be young and beautiful forever, Amanda. You can thank science for that. Stop it, Winston. Stop it. I wish I could. I wish I had. I wish I had never had anything to do with science. It is a snare and a delusion. It has brought the world nothing, nothing but misery and death. Save your philosophical bread, Winston. You'll need it. Science, luring men to their destruction. What are we doing here in this fragment of a, of a monster ship suspended in black space? What are men doing on Mars and Jupiter and Juno? They are Earthmen. That is where God put us. That is where we were. Oh, no, Dr. Lindstrom, you're wrong. Man belongs wherever his spirit leads him. God didn't give us courage and intelligence and an unconquerable thirst for knowledge and then confine us to one tiny portion of the universe. Science is only big. What was that? I know, I know something too. Move We're not drifting anymore. You're moving in a straight line. The cutter. Come on, Dick. Let's go fast, Lewis. Take a good look out there. We're moving fast enough. It's a strange vibration. Look. It's a spaceship. Bear 